superpowered breakup that gave her her start. Now she's saving the world, fighting crimes of the heart. It's Breakup Girl. It's Breakup Girl. It's Breakup Girl. It's Breakup Girl. Dear Breakup Girl, there are a lot of women in my life who all think of me as a buddy. Now I'm worried the same thing is going to happen with my new crush, Peggy. But it's not fair. I helped her move, I drove her to the airport, and now I'm building her a loft. But what can I do to not become the best friend, older brother, father, confidant, and instead be someone's boyfriend? Signed, Paul the Loft Builder. I can't believe you built this great loft for me, Paul. You're my best friend in the whole world. Breakup girl. Let me guess. Paul. I had to get out of there. How many times can a guy hear the nice guy speech? Look, Paul, the things you did for Peggy are all things you do for a friend. Where's the romance? How about next time? You don't drive her to the airport, you drive her to the movies. What's wrong with being nice? Nothing. Don't change. But when you set yourself up as a friend like that, it's no wonder they don't think of you as date material. I mean, they see you as a mover, not a shaker. Hmm. Thanks, breakup girl. The loft you built is great, but this drywall you put up is even better. Peggy, all the nice stuff I did for you, I, I didn't do it because I like you. I, I did it because I like like you. I want to take you to dinner and a movie, like an actual date. Okay? Yeah. You don't know how many guys treat me like a buddy. It seemed like you were one of those guys. But I was hoping you'd ask. <laughs> Important breakup girl maxim. For every guy wondering why women go for bad boys, there's a woman wondering where all the good guys are. Remember, some relationships do shift from platonic to romantic. A loft, after all, is a bed. <laughs> Love, breakup girl. It's breakup girl!